Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. On today's video, we have got a cow with a very sore left front foot, to the point where she won't even put weight on it. So let's get started on this and try to make her feel better. And underneath this hole is the source of her problem, so much so that it has caused separation all the way up into the heel bulb, which means we're going to need to remove all of the area in between to help heal this foot up. If you're watching me remove this loose horn now and you're thinking that the loose horn itself must be the problem that's causing this discomfort for this cow, well, you'd be mistaken. The loose horn is simply a symptom of a problem. That problem is a defect in that white line, that junction between the outside wall of the hoof and the sole of the foot, where that meets, it's called the white line. When there's a defect in there, it allows bacteria to enter and infect the corium underneath. The separation of horn is simply the cow's way of trying to heal this particular problem. Because she can't do that in an efficient manner, we help her out to try to speed this healing process along. Now it may seem counterintuitive to remove a bunch of hoof horn to get new hoof horn to grow, but you have to realize that this hard outer layer that I'm removing now doesn't heal itself. In fact, it's already dead tissue. What we have to do is remove that to get that underlying live tissue, that corium, healed up so it can produce new horn for the outside, that hard outer covering that the cow walks on. If that corium is, is infected, it cannot do that. By removing this, we allow oxygen to get to that to the inf infected area. We also are able to clean that bacteria out of there, and that will allow that corium to regenerate to heal and to begin to produce a new hard layer of horn on the outside. Exactly what our goal is. Now, if you're new to hoof trimming in general and you're wondering, does this hurt the cow? Is this a painful process? Trimming this hard outer layer is not painful. It's very similar to us trimming our fingernails. It's that underlying layer, that corium layer that you hear me talk about that is sensitive. That's why I have to work very carefully when I'm doing this not to damage that underlying tissue. As we zoom in here, you can get a better look at that lesion. You can see the area that I still have yet to remove because I know what I have to do. I'm gonna get a block on this other claw right now. What that's gonna do is elevate that injured claw off the ground to keep it from walking on it now that I've removed that loose horn. That's gonna give it time to heal and allow a new layer of horn to develop and eventually she can walk on that. If you notice those pink blotches on the sole of this foot, that is digital dermatitis that's actually growing on that corium. We're going to need to take care of that as well if we're going to get this to heal. The area that I'm working on right now is the original site of this defect. If you look real close at that white line, you can see how it deviates from its normal path. That's the defect that's allowed the bacteria to enter and infect this corium. If 
You'll notice her sensitivity as I work here, and that's due to that digital dermatitis that's affected that corium underneath. You hear those voices in the background? That's actually the nutritionist stopping in to talk to the herdsman. And he stops in and checks with me too to see, get an idea of what I'm seeing with the feet and what that might mean as far as the nutrition's concerned. And yes, it's time for her salicylic acid wrap. That is gonna kill the bacteria that are causing those lesions on the bottom of her foot. Remember at the beginning of this video, when we showed that cow, barely putting any weight on that foot. Well, now we're gonna see what it looks like after our treatment. Much better. Go back to the beginning, she wouldn't put any weight on it. And now, full weight back on this foot. Now let's see how she's walking, and that'll be the test. As always, guys, thanks for watching. We will see you all on the next one.